for us beat makers, FL Studio is a light point in life. It's actually a place we go to escape the real world. You know, kind of like the gym. It's truly beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful. But then you're working on a beat and you realize that it's one of those days. You can't create anything decent and you, you just want to give up. Well, you don't have to give up because today I will give you 20 FL Studio tricks that I wish I knew when I started making beats. First, creating multiple beats in one project. I always make three different arrangements for every beat. When you do this, chances are that you will always have one that's better than the original one. But how do you do this? It, it's very simple. Just click on arrangement and then on add one. Then just give it a name. You can then switch between arrangements within the same menu. Next one is aligning clips in the playlist. Sometimes it's hard to realign your clips on the grid. So here's a trick. Select the clip that you want to be on the grid. Then hold shift plus Q on your keyboard and voila. This is actually a quantize shortcut that also works in the piano roll to quantize your notes of course. Next trick. If you are a lazy boy and don't want to learn your shortcuts, then this one is for you. If you right click and scroll, you can actually scroll through the tools. It's very fast and efficient and you can be a lazy boy. He's a lazy boy. You accidentally dragged a sample in the piano roll. So annoying. We all hate this, but the fix is quite easy. Just hit Alt plus N on your keyboard and that will remove it. So by default, FL Studio only shows one note on the piano roll. But what if you want to see all of them? To do that, go to View, Key Labels and then choose All Notes. There you go. Hi-hats are fun, but if you lower the pitch, the notes sound longer for some reason. To fix that, open up the channel rack and then click on the hi-hat. Now in the sampler, set the time mode to stretch. Now back in the piano roll, it doesn't matter how much you lower the pitch, the length will always stay the same. When you have a lot of VSTs, it can become quite hard to find the one you need. So instead of clicking on the plus icon, right click it. This will open up the plugin picker. Now all you need to do is type in the plugin you need and voila. You ever feel like the controls in FL Studio are too sensitive? Just hold down control or command on a Mac to make finer adjustments. This works with every slider or knob in a file by the way. So you want to low cut your melody and you're going through all the trouble of changing your band and blah blah blah. Next time when you open up an EQ, just press the right button on the preset list. Then all you need to do is slide your band to the right or the left when you're high cutting. It is a real time saver. So if you want to make a small adjustment to your melody, there's no need to go into the piano roll. Select the layer you want to adjust and click on the graph editor. Here you can adjust stuff like velocity, panning and so on. But the real game changer is the note tab. This is basically a mini piano roll that will save you a lot of time again. For the next one, let's move to the browser. Since the new update, you can favorite your samples. Then if you go to the start tab, you can see all of them together. So it's basically a drum kit with all your favorite drums. Opening and closing folders is also a piece of cake. Just imagine your browser is a true mess. Well, all you need to do is right click in the browser and choose collapse all. Being organized is a must. Well, sometimes FL looks like this. Ew, that. No. If that's the case, just press shift Control h on your keyboard. Now the windows will be popped back in their default positions. Now rearranging patterns in the channel rack, is that even possible? Definitely. Just hold down Alt and use the arrow up and down keys to move them. It's that simple. The mixer is so mysterious. I literally just found out that you can click on the effect in the mixer to open them. What? How could I not notice. You dummy. Now what if you want to create a cinematic pad in FL Studio from scratch? Easy. Let's say I have this simple melody in the playlist. Right click it and choose consolidate from song start. Now it will turn your MIDI notes to a WAV file. Next double click it and in the sampler right click the waveform. Choose audio editor. Then once you're in Edison click the tear icon on top. Now with these settings you can create such an amazing sound. That is awesome. What if you need some space in the playlist? Well, right click and drag on top to create a selection. Then open up the menu on the top left and go to edit. Then click on insert space. Bam, there you go. Automation knobs and sliders are fun, but if you automate the volume slider of a mixer track, you can't adjust the volume anymore. Instead, find the fruity balance effect and go to the volume knob. Then right click it and create automation clip. Now you can still change the volume without destroying the automation. Muting all the drums at the same time is also a thing. Don't waste your time muting all the tracks one by one. Take an empty track and call it drum bus. Then select all the drum tracks. Now head over to the drum bus at the bottom. Right click it and choose send to this track only. Now if you mute this track, all the drums will be muted and basically everything you do to this track will be applied to all the drums. Effect mixers or sends work in a similar way. Create for example a reverb track with the fruity reverb applied. Then send a mixer to that track by left clicking on the bottom. Now this knob will appear. You can use this to adjust the amount of reverb. The next trick will definitely change your life. 
life. Double click the automation clip and in this window you can do so much more than before. In fact, I made an entire video about that. So go check it out because it will change your beats. Gotta go now. Goodbye.